We have a huge array of microbes in our system. We have trillions, literally 30 to 50 trillion bacteria, viruses, and all other types of microbes in our system. They have genetic material. The engines of our cells are dependent on microbes in our gut converting a nutrient from food into a functional compound that fixes the engines of our cells. The common problems we hear leaky gut. In those individuals and their normal body weight fit young individuals, 55% of them had pretty severe leaky gut already. The general adult population, it's probably closer to 80 to 90%. If you are overweight, if you're carrying too much weight in the midsection, if you have some degree of insulin resistance or prediabetes, uh, if you have elevated blood pressure, if you have dysfunctional uh, dyslipidemia, your triglycerides are really high, you likely have leaky gut. Most skin issues can also be tied back to leaky gut. When people think about diet, what are some of the things we should really focus on? We need a lot of plant-based foods. You don't need a vegan diet. You don't need a vegetarian diet even. Uh, but why I say we need a lot of plant-based foods, because there are certain compounds in plants that, that preferentially feed a lot of the really important microbes within your microbiome. So I would love to talk a little bit about bloating. Is bloating normal? So no. Anytime you bloat, it means that you've done something, you've engaged in something, or your system is dysfunctional to a point where it's creating bloating. So let's break down what some of the drivers of that can be. And But when you get a lot of these gram-negative bacteria, they're actually less susceptible to the function of bile, so they can overgrow. And when food comes in, they start fermenting the food and as a result produce gas. You just eat too much and you feel like, oh, I'm so bloated because you've, you've gone past the comfortable expansion of your stomach and your small intestine because you've put such a large volume of food. That's also a bad thing. Can you do this in subtle changes in your diet uh, that will make a profound effect? Our mouths are loaded with gram-negative bacteria, mm. the exact type of bacteria in the case of SIBO that you find overgrowing, right? One of the things I want to ask you since you're talking about oral health, tongue mm -hmm. scraping, would that help? Mm -hmm. Tongue scraping reduces a huge 